All right, Happy Feet 2. Uh, I don't remember anything about this except gay shrimp. Brad Pitt's in it. Um, puffins. What? I remember the puffins, but we talked There's about puffins. Awesome. Yeah, puffins. And uh, <coughs> all right, I guess what more? What more can I say? Uh, ready, spaghetti. Three, two, one. I just want to. I just want Boogie Wonderland, though. So I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> How many sequels have the word two spelled in letters and not numerically? Or Robin Williams. The fuck? What? <coughs> the heck? The frick? Is this an existing song? It has to be, right? Huh? I'm not a fan of the lyrics. Let's dance, let's shout. No, the parts before that. No, no. Stop, stop. Don't do this. Don't hate on everything, Adam. Come on. Ain't nothing wrong with these lyrics. A. Yeah. You don't get it, Adam? Come on now. What do you mean I don't get it? What do you mean? What, what do you That's mean? That's a by double, that? and I'm just getting warm. I don't know what you mean by me not getting it, though. It's a double entendre. I'm just saying. You say you're not liking the lyrics. <laughs> I'm not just gonna be a hater, though. You're fluffy, Justin Timberlake. Did it say Matt Damon? It just started. Quit hating. I'm typing. I'm talking about chat. Okay. <laughs> Same rules apply. It just started. They didn't even do nothing. Oh, Commons in this? That's funny. The songs make perfect sense if you listen to what they're saying. You dislike musicals? Okay, then this ain't the movie for you, my boy. If you don't like music, then... Have they just been nonstop happy dancing since, since the previous film? <laughs> 
fucking weirdo kick him out <laughs> don't learn any of the lessons from the previous film The mouth moving animation is not as good as the first film. That's so weird. Lower budget? I don't know. Maybe just like tighter time constraints. Get stupid? How about get it started? He's dead. Do you just fucking shit? Is he shitting? <laughs> I don't remember that. The fuck just happened? He just peed himself. Pissing? They're birds. It's the same. I mean, what's the animation's worse? What happened? They're kind of fidgety. Yeah. It's just, it's either like less talented animators or just like more rushed or like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hey, yo. The animation's just bad. It's like more detailed textures, but like way worse rigging. The movements are so not fluid. How did it get worse? The music is like polishing a turd. Like what's not, it's completely unearned. The skies are worse. The skies look like less real than the 2006 movie. All the background, that looks like a weird fucking painting in the background. What the hell? All of the, all of the backgrounds look worse. We haven't developed these characters or their relationships, like the kids with them. Like this doesn't mean anything in this context. 
Look at her mouth movements. It's like fucking AI generated animation. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I get it. What part did you shut the movie off for? What was you the sh the krill? Oh wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's great. The first movie had one baby and it was the main character and he grew up. Not a trio of babies to stay for the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> What? I don't know who you're talking about. Tell me who you confused me with so I don't ban you thinking that you're just looking for attention and being a troll. Because if the person doesn't exist, you're gone. This is weird animation. Okay, I am so disappointed with that answer. I'm banning you. <laughs> All right, come back in. Oh, how the fuck? I was gonna, I was gonna do a, I was gonna do a two week ban. I was gonna, or maybe seven days. Seven days fine, right? Doesn't have to be a perma ban. Brand new account, yeah. Well, all right.
The physics are worse. I don't understand. <laughs> Explode. Why is the animation just so much worse? What the fuck is going on? They're moving like bad puppets. Okay, he is in this movie. You're right. Mm -hmm. I think I just repressed the entire movie. <laughs> I knew he was he was back. I'm not fuming. I'm enjoying it. It's not as good, not even close. You wouldn't believe how bad a movie could be that Cap BF enjoys it. He's not fuming, don't worry. Because I don't, well, I know me and what? Adam don't have to like the same things. That's okay. Exactly. Although you did get fuming when I didn't like something else like two days ago, and I don't remember what, but I do remember that happening. Well, there are certain things, yeah. <laughs> I think it was my rating for cats and dogs, even though I enjoyed watching it with you. But that wasn't like two days ago. A week ago. Two weeks ago. It was at TIFF. Uh, a week ago? Were we at TIFF a week ago? What day is it? I think we were here. No. We weren't. I don't understand what's going on. Cats and Dogs is one of my favorite movies of all time. That movie made me the cat I am today. What's this accent? It's trying to be Swedish, but it's doing a bad job. It's trying to be like some sort of Scandinavian. Mm. That's Hank Azaria. Yeah. Whew. Why is the audio peaking? An original song? Yeah, original song and the audio is peaking. Immediately. Like, really badly.
Destiny show what? Shout out. Oh. I think you're a little bit further ahead than we are. No, he said it before. He said it before? Yeah. That's why I said Destiny show what? <laughs> Fluffed. <laughs> he getting fluffed. I think I saw a butthole. I was eating chicken earlier. <laughs> Sven say, that's funny. They're 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 like kind of trying to like do some of the same things from the original, but it's just there's so not that purposeful. was way too long. Yeah, it's been twenty three minutes and like nothing's happened. It's really not respectful with its time. Well, we just got introduced to hmm? Sven. We just got introduced to Sven. That happened. Yeah. Yes, Spooter. Happy feet, too. What is the conflict? Climate change. You're watching it. Pay attention. Are Scandinavian people ever represented positively in movies as stereotypes? Huh? What did Scandinavian people do to people that write movies? You know? They're never, like, positively represented. What's going on with the camera work? It feels too low.
Yes, sir. This <laughs> So much fun. What? Sorry, why is he weird again? Uh, they did it in the beginning. But I, I know, right? And it didn't stick with us, okay, which is yeah. not good. Yeah. What? You missed the first one. I think it happens like two or three times they say it, but yeah, they already said it once. The one in the Korean line. I mean, it. The first movie, it, it sticks with you, you know? Yeah. It's just properly developed. This one is way slower in terms of just where it goes. Yeah, we were like 30 minutes into the first movie, we were like 20 songs in. <laughs> yeah, we're like five different interesting characters. Yeah. Yeah. We were probably at the James Bond flying down the cliff part at this point. The first movie just fucking flies by. The pacing is incredible. Yeah. It's over before you know it. That can't possibly be Eric Steele. <laughs> the animation was too dull. Give it another shot. This bitch still believes in Gwyn. <laughs> Somebody's sucking cock. <laughs> Somebody kill the British child. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody kill the British one.
Oh, yeah. Where the fuck did he come from? Actually, I don't know. I don't know why he's there. What? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that word? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to Google search it. Hey, British people, y'all be saying that? What? Mother of all bullies. What the fuck is going on? Why are they here? Why are you here? It's such lazy writing... Or it's just like, oh, then they're like across a cliff and then the things and the, the fuck. Yeah, this is a much more uh, formulaic kids movie. Jump down. <laughs> What's what the fuck is this? <laughs> the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh brother there's no purpose to anything that's happening this is might as well be a television episode this is like a Kimba scenario it's like I'm watching Kimba right now people falling off cliffs and shit <laughs> <laughs> I do like that snow texture for this uh, perspective. It's not just like flat white. Yeah. yeah. Shit busting, ain't it?
What the fuck is going on? He's saving what the, the heck? Dead. What what kind of? Why would there be this? That wouldn't exist naturally at all. It doesn't make any sense. This structure. If I were George Miller and I made this film, I would also want to shoot myself before making a third one. (laughs) (laughs) So bad. He had two co-directors for this, but he also did for the first film. So even though those were two different people, and I guess those two different people did a lot on the first film in terms of making it not shit. Because the animation's like way worse. The animation's like insanely worse somehow. That's crazy. Literally five years later. What's going on? Okay. So were they below the water level before? What the heck? It's so weird. So one of them is Brad Pitt. Who's the other one? Uh, Matt Damon. Oh, it's Matt Damon. Matt Damon. The, like, goop in his eyes is, like, just a really undetailed, like, layer, and it's upsetting me. It has no, there's no, like, glistening quality to it. It looks like like a weird, like, painted on a wall, his eye cummies are not very detailed. Oh, this is funny. I forgot this was the plot. They're all trapped.
Yeah, there's spotlights on characters that you're supposed to notice. They're all the, the, the characters he is interacting with are just particularly well lit and stand out from the crowd, I know. I'm going to a deli. <laughs> Dr. D was Sydney-based digital animation studio founded mid-2007 as a partnership between Kennedy and Mitchell, Miller, Mike Mitchell, and OmniLab Media. As in, this is was that who did the first one or who did the second one? Just the second. Okay. So they like founded an animation studio. And decided to make a bad movie. There's so, so many of these shots feel like low. The shots were so like we got so much more framing in the other movies. I don't know what's going on in the other movie. I'm enjoying this more than 28 weeks later, for sure. I think I'm enjoying this more than 28 weeks later, yeah. But it's not good. <laughs> There's a lot less music and a lot less jokes. Like, I don't even know, like... Like, they're not progressing the story that much, either. It's it's so weird that this is, like, the story. They you get trapped in a hole! It's like a Kimba a episode. It's literally like a Kimba episode. This is like this is literally what would happen in a Kimba episode. Like, oh, the other animals are trapped. Mm -hmm. This is a hashtag manhole situation. They did a whole trip to their place, talked to them for like five minutes, and then left. He's weird. <laughs> Get me out of there. <laughs> Get me out of here. I hate this. I hate this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Selectively reverberating words. <laughs> it's like Xavier Renegade Angel. What? 
I mean, why would you, why else would you put original songs in the film if you're not trying to get an Oscar nomination? Let it go. <laughs> really just empty platitudes of lyricism. <laughs> like, then this means anything. Fucking... The audio is weird. It's it's worse recorded than the first film. <sighs> what is the what is this is so unearned? The kid had an anxiety attack, by the way. That's all that happened. For why he feels bad? Yeah. It's a, a lot of what happens in this film feels so long. It feels long because it doesn't like it. It's like you don't like it doesn't. It just feels like they're it padding. It feels like it's going forward anyway. No. And then we get the B plot. <laughs> Even though nothing's happened in between, like, yeah, we're like literally halfway through the movie. Nothing's happened. We should have had like fucking several arcs. That's bad animation. You'll get him. You'll get him. <laughs> I mean, they successfully got conservatives to get mad at the movie again. <laughs> I remember it was controversial that they were gay krill. No hanky They're like, panky. you're teaching children that they don't have to be heterosexual? What? <laughs> you're grooming them. You're grooming them with the knowledge that you don't have to conform to the exact same things that I want them to. To some people, it matters a lot what children are attracted to <laughs> or will be attracted to. No, it has to be this way. My kid has to be attracted to this. And also your children have to be attracted to this. It's really like just so lame that how the movie is just them trapped like they got trapped by an iceberg. Everyone did. I 
I thought Skua was a character name, not an animal type. This is very pathetic. They really like the poop and the piss in this movie, and they really just like showing poopy and pee pee. Where are the crow the best part? I am only invested in what the crow are going through right now. I think it's cred incredible that, like, this movie is, like, what, PG? But if I showed if I showed <laughs> pooping and pissing on my YouTube channel, I'd get demonetized. <laughs> what? Why is this why is this longer than like 30 minutes? Sorry. Why are there kazoos in the soundtrack? It's so boring. You gonna poop on his head? Is everybody gonna get pooped? The song choices are bad. Here's a question. With you remembering presumably something about this movie, did you remember like any of the song choices? No, like I thought that Which is I a liked, bad thing for a... I thought that I liked the music. I thought the music was one of the things that I liked about this movie. No. But it's all original songs and like and then the suck. yeah the the not original songs are just bad yeah. choices that well, don't. I like the beginning. The opening was good. God, the fish sliding down that looks really bad. Nothing's progressed. This makes me want to vomit. All right, where is everybody shitting? On the Pope. <sighs> I'm going to sleep so hard after this movie. <laughs> Kill the child. Kill the fucking British child, please.
That doesn't look good. I don't think Wasn't any penguins Gloria can with fly. Fat Joe in the first movie? Uh, no, because that was their singing class. Oh, I thought they were. Oh, okay. It was a fake out. They fooled me. Okay. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> oh no, they got me. <gasps> what is this, Super Smash Bros. Go. Con? I want to go to a Predator convention. I'll take Scoot. Mm hmm. We're not with the horde anymore. What the fuck? What do you want me to do? It. This is mean. Bye. If you cut out everything but the Krill story, the movie would be better, and it would also be like four minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> like that's they put the like they, the they, Krill part. That was like the marketing. They're like, we got Brad Pitt and Matt Damon as gay Krills. Yeah, it's like, like what people quoted too. The penguins are just stuck in ice. Who cares? Yeah, like you could have just made a different movie. They're not in any danger. There's no point in having like the same characters that we saw from the first movie. Vor. This is weirdly sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth animation's not good. Shut up! Why don't you kids just kill yourselves? <laughs> how did you Yeah, whatever. How did you even how did you even know he was eating bird really? Like it was just yeah, I do have a concept of that being bird that they were eating. Yeah, and like you wouldn't it's unless like you also eat chickens chicken like, bird yeah. like wings. Like he was eating like a drumstick. It's like we can recognize that because we eat that all the time. No. Why would why would they recognize that as like a cooked? It's not like, like I could have seen if they saw the bird before they killed it or something. <laughs> Yeah. Can't put that in the movie. What the? Ugh. Ugh. 
This is We Are the Champions. Yeah. We are the champions, my friend. We'll keep on fighting till the end. Boom, boom, boom. We are the champions. First good song, but not used in any proper context for any not real really relevant. purpose. Yo, check it out. What was that? What the frick? How'd they get in? What? How'd they get in? Get in what? What? How'd they get in what? I thought they were in the area. No. All right, everybody climb here. <laughs> Dead. So it's like they saw Ice Age and decided to make like a scrat. Which, I mean, a lot of films did. A lot of films tried to recreate the Scrat. Yeah, Scrat was the front runner, I think. And do more, like, slapsticky, like, I'm in danger. Even had to scream. What the fuck? Why would you miss this place? <laughs> We've done nothing. <laughs> We've done nothing and we've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. <laughs> I understand the music choices. What's going on? Oh, it's bad weather, so we can't rescue you now, right now. We'll come back. <laughs> also this temperature you'd be dead as that krill right now you have no way of like insulating your body heat at all you would literally just be frozen you shouldn't survive at this moment you'd be frozen before you hit the ground So what were the humans going to do to save them if, let's say, it didn't get too cold and they had to leave? Like, what were they going to do? They were setting up something. I didn't see it.
Ouais. <rire> Fesh. Teach everyone to fly, numb nuts. Suicide. Get me out of here. What a clear path. Okay. Still feels like the plot of a Kimba episode. Penguins are birds. <laughs> the gravity itself is not going down. <laughs> That's greedy. You chose the wrong character to try this strategy with. <laughs> right. You chose the fattest the guy. Biggest one. You chose the fattest Joe. Oh, well, suicide. Oh, now you're dead. He said, oh, daddy. Poofin. Imogen Poof. <laughs> what do you slap him? <laughs> I don't even know. No, whatever. <coughs> It just smacked him real quick. Damn. You know, it's, they introduced him at the beginning of the movie as like kind of like a religious preacher type, even. Like he was like, oh, uh, like kind of doing the weird like cult it was a deed. thing. Yeah. And that didn't really stay consistent throughout the entire movie kind of weird like they were trying to recreate some stuff from the movie. oh yeah there's fucking tap dancing in this movie <laughs> like i forgot that the penguins tap danced i forgot that was even a thing that happened we're like at the end of the movie like we're like two-thirds through this movie i forgot there was tap i forgot yeah, the whole selling done. point was tap dancing penguins that's what happy feet is is, is right since the beginning yeah holy shit Audio sounds so much worse. Yeah, remember? We can tap dance.
Like this would be a perfect time for we will rock you. What you say? This would be the perfect time for we will we will rock you. <clears throat> yeah, sure. This is lame. very dumb. There's nothing, just tap dancing. No song or nothing. I like how the most efficient way to move the snow is tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> It's literally just a Kimba episode. Like, I, I can't disassociate it. It reminds me too much of just how dumb those the plots of those episodes were. <laughs> like, it's literally just the same type of thing. A lot of falling. <laughs> ah. Wow. I I can't disassociate. Dude, Kimba. Who even cares about anything? What? Whatever. You'll survive. It doesn't matter. You'll be fine. There's no consequence to the, this. You'll be fine. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. He almost fell and was fine, but down there... He almost... He almost went lower. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well i mean that literally just takes away the danger that the kid just had i mean also the just five out. characters that fell from that same height in the past 30 minutes well, yeah. <laughs> it's just funny they did that back to back That like, was the this funniest movie part legitimately of the movie so just far. what? That was the funniest part of the movie so far. I don't know. I like. I like. I think that some of the curl parts are funnier, even though I haven't really laughed at anything. <laughs> <laughs> the curl's the best part for sure. Hmm. What do you say? The curl's the best part. Yeah. It's like it's what people remember and it's what people it's they they literally marketed the film in this way. It's what people said they enjoyed, it's what people people quoted. <sighs> Get me out of here. Bro, this has been happening forever. It's how does how is this the plot of the movie? They were tap dancing like 20 minutes ago. Good night, Olivia.
Oh, this is this is like the third song choice that has been so dated to the tw- 2011 release date. We got the Justin Timberlake thing. We got Rick Roll, and now we're getting Maya He Maya like Numa Numa. Like fuck, like the original movie didn't have any moments that felt where like the song choice was just like, oh, we're gonna make a reference of that only will matter in this point in time. Yeah, I can't believe I got Rick Roll. It's embarrassing. Is that the entire reason why they put a Scandinavian character in it is so they could do Numa Numa? Do I still think this is good? No. Why? With a vengeance. What? So now they're destined to overpopulate and just get cramped and die with no predators. This is definitely better than 28 weeks later. Yeah. Dom J. I'm feeling the same for the rating. I'm enjoying this a bit better just inherently because there's like furry characters in it, but like that's about it. That's, That's like the only thing. <laughs> the entire population strapped. <laughs> what? I, yeah, I was about to say, like, dude, you owe me one. Hmm. Like, what? Why? I literally saved, yeah, like, in front of your children. Fluff off. <laughs> that was a long pause. You should have not paused. That was there, sussy. The only butt I want to see, see your is butt. yours. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking. Hmm. Wow. Oh 
little baby gets a song. <laughs> it's coming out of nowhere. Oh no. What the fuck? Ugh. Doesn't feel like this was written. It just feels like he's kind of improvising it. Like, okay, make a song. Bad auto tune. And also, it's like clearly pitch shifted. It's just a pitch shifted voice. They did it Alvin and the Chipmunks. This is awful. I don't believe that this voice is coming out of this penguin. Is this supposed to be like a joke? Is this supposed to be like funny that it's like that? It seems like it's trying to be dramatic. How do they not understand how bad this is? This is like horrendous. Am I supposed to cry? What is what what are we supposed to get out of that? If they cause an avalanche and they just all fall in there and die, that would be a great ending. Like, come on, let's just make the snow go down from where we are. And they all just like, <laughs> Wayne. Very, like, poorly put together songs. This animation's bad. This is a very inappropriate choice for, like, the tone of what's happening. What have you been doing the whole movie? Why are you a character in this? What are, like have we accomplished anything narratively really? Like dramatically? This might as well have been like 20 minutes through the movie. What? My feet so happy now. I 
I'm pissed. Oh, he learned to back up. He learned to back up, finally. How are they not all falling? What? Right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Does it really? You're doing a bad job dancing, too. Like, none of this works. None of this works at all. I heard bitches of the world. Bitches of the world. <laughs> and it kills him. Oh, great. We can all climb up this now. Yay. Bitches of the world. <laughs> The sm death to Smoochie was way worse than this. <laughs> death to Smoochie, like, <laughs> made me contemplate Minecraft. We got piss, we got poop, we got a, something that was like suspiciously close to the N-word, and then some krill, <laughs> and then they were stuck, <laughs> and like, none of it had to do with like the human element at all, and there was no like message about environmentalism. It's funny, the humans did just fuck off. And never came back. I thought they were going to come back. The humans never came back. They got bored. And there was no kind of, like, there's no point to anything. So, yeah, why even have them? Uh, yeah. The humans didn't need to exist in the story at all. Oh, wow. John Powell still did it. Really phoned it in. All right, all right, I'll say what, three. I think I'm giving it a two, which is also what I gave uh, 28 weeks later, but I mean, <laughs> Not, I enjoyed this more, weeks but later. it's de in terms of like what I enjoyed this more, because I, I enjoyed laughing at it more kind of, but in terms of like what they did with the film, it's like embarrassingly lazy. Like wh wh what it's kind insane. of a script was this? I was not expecting it to be like that bad. Here's the rule of thumb. Oh, I knew it was pink. God damn it. Glor Gloria got turned into pink. Who was pink? Uh, oh, Gloria. Gloria? Yeah. I thought that her voice, singing voice sounded like pink, but then I was like, no, probably not. Anyway, rule of thumb for me. Is if I'm nostalgic for a movie in my childhood, but I can't remember anything about it, that means it's bad. <laughs> Fair. And then you rewatch it and it's like, oh, I remember. I now see why I don't remember anything about it. It's because it's not memorable. <laughs> Fair.
no good songs. Maybe like a couple moments where it's like a fine, like okay joke or something. <sighs> yeah, I hated the original music decision. You hated the what? The original music decision. I just there was no point. They weren't good. They were very basic. Just use songs. Like the first movie utilized music so well. Like this felt like they didn't even try. It yeah, it seems like they definitely didn't try with the script. Yeah. And if they did, that's more embarrassing. Like, even in one, you could tell what they were doing the whole time. And they didn't pull any punches or hide anything. They were very It was it was easy. The first movie was easy to follow and very well communicated yeah. and the pacing just flies by and there's a bill like there's a, there's a billion things that happen in the movie and a billion interesting characters and set pieces and like so much to explore and discover and there's a purpose for everything and everything fits and every time there's a billion songs and every time the song plays it fits you're like damn that's a great use of, of this song mm-hmm. this movie it's like Three of the songs were just memes that, like, are you would only understand if you were alive in 2011. <laughs> and then the rest of them are like, not the right tone, really unearned. Like, okay, it's implied that you're that we're supposed to be like thinking something's accomplished emotionally, but it nothing has been. Not like who gives a shit about Sven? I literally think that they just had a Swedish guy just to do Numa Numa. I think I literally think that they put a Scandinavian character in just to do Numa Numa. I literally think that's the re- the reason why. Bro, the plot that I had like kind of loosely in my head when I was thinking of all the characters and the moments that I remember from this movie it was way better than. What do you think the plot was? I thought, like, Sven was, like, a godly figure, which he was, I guess, but, like, he had more of a... For a bit at the beginning. (laughs) ...role in, like, saving the penguins at the end. I forgot about the whole, oh, they're just trapped the whole time. I thought there was something else about the ice melting. It's insane that they're just trapped the whole time. And we don't even, like, that doesn't even become a thing until, like, 30 minutes through the movie. Yeah. The first 30 minutes, like, our main characters are... The kids get lost, yeah, by just going to the other penguin zone, and they're like, "I don't want to leave. I don't fit in at all." It's like, why? I don't know, because he just why did he had he a fit? panic attack or something at one moment and got a tantrum, and then everybody just kind of played along with it and let him run away. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then they ran they went across an ice bridge for some reason and the big penis nose boy Australian is like I can't walk backwards <laughs> and then falls in almost dies in front of his children for, and gets for saved for no reason for no why, reason why other than dickhead? for the ending he's like I need your help remember but like even though he didn't even like care that he saved his life and he had to be inspired by the dumb Opera chipmunk singing. voice of yeah. his little shit son and that's why he went and Who, saved like, them. Realistically still probably wouldn't care after that unless it's like kids said something. I thought his kids were going to like convince him. But whatever. Why are there bubbles? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna sleep. We got like two more minutes of credits here. I would like to do a Holy Grail watch along in the future. I don't know if I'm not gonna do it in the next couple of weeks or anything, but next time I watch it or something, maybe it'll be on stream. That would be cool. 
What happened to the krill? They somehow all congregated in like a spot beneath the ice where no other predator, where no predators can go. And they all managed to get the, make their way there somehow. And I don't, I don't, they all just kind of spawned there unless Brad Pitt's character is just like imagining it at the end and he's actually crazy. <laughs> but I don't think that's the implication. And they're like, we won't have to be eaten. We can just hang out under here forever and not go anywhere. And you don't have to do anything ever. Just hang out. Common. Matt Damon. Wow. Yeah, who who the fuck would ever buy this soundtrack? <laughs> That's a weird thing in the credits. Nobody received any money from tobacco companies is what it said. <laughs> it, it said that in a longer way. But it was like nobody received any money or anything of value uh, in association with tobacco products. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing. Was somebody smoking in the movie? Is that why like... I don't remember any smoke. I don't think anybody Maybe was smoking. I don't, that's a weird thing to put if nobody was smoking sailors. in the movie. Nobody was smoking? One of the humans, maybe? Like, but. I'll look in the. Uh, let's see. Alcohol, drugs, and smoking, none, according to IMDb. So I don't understand what purpose there is to just saying that. Man, if they would have just, like, tried to be good or tried to be funny, I could have faked it. I can't even pretend to like this. Um, Now I'm confused because I'm on the IMDb thing and it's like... For what? For the um, the parents' guide for like things that could be disturbing or adult or whatever, and so they list things like <laughs> when Sven feeds Gloria some fish. Some seductive music plays, and she accidentally bites his tongue instead of the fish. He says it's okay, then licks the roof of her mouth before saying, "Oh yeah." He then flies away saying, "Woo, she's a hottie." So that's listed here, and things like that. What about the pee? But that's why I'm confused. Nowhere is the poop or the pee list. Like those are pretty explicit. <laughs> but that's like fine and not worth the mentioning for the parents' crazy. guide. That's like literally not worth mentioning at all for the parents' guide. Not not worth mentioning. I wasn't expecting that pee shot at all. That was that was like explicit. That caught me off guard. <laughs> and it lasted a long time. Yeah, and all over. So himself. we got like fucking water sports and scat, and that's fine. But. A like flirting smoke. is mentioned here. Flirting is mentioned. And that's how birds. Nowhere, are. nowhere on this is is the fucking the weird, like piss and shit. <laughs> like nowhere is that mentioned. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> All right, Dara. This one has less user reviews. Let's see if there's any that are 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The title of this review just says, good. Mm. <laughs> the, the review says, perfect movie. It was so good since I'm an 11-year-old. <laughs> I approve it. They should make a three in 2018. I was left with too much questions. 10 out of 10. 
Super great. Awesome movie to made. I hope there is a third one. I hope to see one soon. Loved it. Hope you guys love it. So I hope to see another one and I have to go to school. So yeah, in general, really good title. I, I think I was 11 when I uh, enjoyed this movie too. So somewhere around there. <coughs> So I don't. Oh my him. god, this is so funny! Like, I've I've scrolled down like maybe six of them, six of the reviews. In mm-hmm. three of them, they all mention their age, and they're all <laughs> children. <laughs> one of them says, "I'm a 15 year old girl from Taiwan." There's another one that says, "From a five year old." <laughs> what the? F- uh, oh, this one. Okay, this one's written by the adult. This review is from my five year old daughter, Cora. We read the reviews here, and she wanted to enter her own review. So without further ado, oh, that's cute. The movie is very, very funny. I rate it ten stars. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to read what so, t- the translation from the parent. Like five of the five years, it's so. not even genuine. I don't want to read somebody else's shit. Oh my god! And I there's another right away. Ten out of ten. Happy Feet Two is amazing. As a twelve year old, I suppose <laughs> I had like there aren't that many reviews for this. <laughs> This is crazy. I didn't realize that there was a whole genre Bro, of IMDb reviews. It resonated with the children. You just find a bad kids hit. movie, and then you sort by, by like the highest ratings, and then apparently you just get like a bunch of children that are just saying like, <laughs> "As a baby." <laughs> <laughs> this is really. I didn't. I had no idea what. What the fuck? So unlike unlike. Uh, 28 weeks later, I scroll halfway through the page and the 10s stop and they turn into 9s. So there aren't that many 10 out of 10 ratings. And it seems all of them are just, as a baby, <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was good. Um, huh. Oh my god, there's only one, two, three, four, five, five, nine out of tens, and then it goes right into the eights for like the full reviews. I'm not surprised. Because, like, I mean, yeah, nobody's passionate about this. Yeah, there, there's not much to say about it. No. Like, even the message being climate change was like so. <sighs> not well done at all like they had the little knots to it with the grass and the water and the ice but okay i'm confused at this title here as i'm going to read it happy feet 2.0 great visual state of the art a darker storyline that adults will love that i don't understand so we're going to investigate okay the first thing that stood out for me in the movie is the absolute scale of most of the shots (laughs) thousands of penguins dancing with it all feeling natural instead of it looking like a giant copy and paste operation with a bunch of cloudy and blurry wiggles all over the screen. The penguins seamlessly transform from the documentary penguin visuals we are accustomed to to the talking penguins. Visually and technically, it's a marvel and the ticket price is worth it for that alone. The first Happy Feet was five years ago and I remember it having a lighthearted feel to it. This new Happy Feet 2 movie starts with a foreboding view of Earth from space where the ice shells are cracking off from the South Pole. It then moves... Oh, yeah. What was with that face in the ice, too? That was, like, completely pointless. Face in the ice? Wait, was it, like, a... At the beginning. Easter egg? I didn't see a face oh, in the ice. You didn't see it? No. The ice broke off in the shape of, like, an angry kind of, like... It was, like, almost looked like a wolf or something. It was weird. Hmm. Nobody saw that? Was I the only person that saw it? I didn't see that. Okay, hold on. I'll replay it just for... What do we got here? Here we go. Yeah, look, see that the eye and the nose? Okay. And the mouth. That's yeah. Something. Yeah. It's like an eye and the nose and the mouth. And then and then the mouth like even opens. It's like a weird choice. 
It looks right? like a head. It, yeah. It's like I was like, what's with a face? It's like a mascot head or something, or like a. Logo. It's like he's got like hair and everything too. It's like literally a face. Like I didn't understand why that was happening. It's just like a face there. I was like, is something sin- is something evil happening? It does look like a weird face. No, with the long ass nose. Yeah. yeah, I was I was so confused. Okay. And then that just never came up. And I thought, I was like, what's going on? Anyway, um, foreboding view of the earth, blah, 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 blah. It then moves to a penguin dance to the song Rhythm Nation. That is almost a military march. And then to our new baby penguin protagonist, Eric, <laughs> who is unable to both sing or dance. Is that what his fucking problem was? <laughs> <laughs> he like it didn't really develop then, it how, properly. Why did he sing opera in the end? Because yeah. I was, I guess that was supposed to be his like coming out. I, 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 I can I sing now. Moment like but he, never he didn't. Learned. Yeah, like in the in the first film, you saw like the character mumble like trying to sing, and he like squawked. He's like, mm-hmm. you know, he's like, no, I can dance though. Like this other character, he was just like. I don't wanna like at the beginning he just kind of like fucking win. pouted and gave up and so there was nothing like I, I didn't understand his fucking here. deal. I understand what his fucking problem was <laughs> anyway. Uh, gone are the themes of heart songs and tap dancing. The South Pole has become a dangerous ice jungle with calamities and predators at every corner. The themes have changed from individualistic and from individualistic to the nationalistic. The characters from the didactic to the cautionary. I think adults will enjoy this change of tone, but I don't know how the kids will feel about the new dark and non-individualistic themes. <laughs> the most jarring aspect of the movie is the accents. Some characters have neutral American accents, while some have African-American stylings. Sea elephants have British accents, as do some penguins. A different nation of penguins all have Spanish accents. I don't know if there's a method behind all these accents, but I can't help but imagine an underlying social or political commentary in the story. Or it could be just be my imagination. So this guy didn't remember the first movie very well, I guess. Great. Overall, it's a great movie, and I suggest you definitely go see it. The ticket price is worth it for the visuals alone. The engaging story and the great singing are just a bonus value. The visuals aren't that good. They weren't. The animation was worse. All right, so I'm going to go to bed. I'm fucking tired, and I'm going to have to see if I can like record some... Some shit tomorrow. But I gotta sleep. So, peace out, everybody. I'll I'll raid somebody. Good night. That was fun. Uh, Let's see. Who do I raid? (sighs) I'm exhausted. Chan Chan, we're rating Chan Chan for sure. Chan Chan, who's Chan Chan? Oh my god, you've never seen a Chan Chan raid? Oh boy, let's do it. Hello, Mr. Chan Chan. Yeah. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. I have fun, everybody. Rating by...